Hey, what's up guys? Sanitary103 in the kitchen once again and today's video I'm going to show you uh, what you can do with some leftovers from a rotisserie chicken and make a delicious uh, chicken uh, noodle soup. So right here, um, if you go to like Safeway or, uh, or wherever, uh, usually you get a rotisserie chicken and uh, have a little bit left over. So with this, a lot of times you just have just the bones and remaining. Most people just throw it away in the uh, trash can. But if you have a little bit of chicken remaining and uh, you wanna be smart about it, you can actually make a delicious meal with it. So I have a little bit of chicken here. If you end up eating most of the chicken and then you're gonna make this recipe, you can always buy some extra shredded chicken. But I purposely left a little bit of chicken right there because it's gonna be chicken uh, soup. So I got the rotisserie chicken right there. And then I also, um, Cut up some uh, onions, white onions, and some garlic. And then I have some uh, miscellaneous vegetables, which I'm gonna get into a little bit, some carrots and some celery. But we're gonna get into that in a little bit. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna put the um, onions and garlic on about medium heat, just so it gets a soft enough. So I put about a six, let's get some olive oil in there, in the pan. And then I'm just gonna toss these in. Absolutely love the uh, smell of cooked garlic. And once it gets a little bit soft, I'm gonna turn this down to about a three and a half. Now it's time to add the chicken inside. Now you wanna add some water, just enough to cover the bones. And now let's cover it. It's gonna be left on about three and a half simmer for about 30 minutes. All right, half an hour is up, but now it's time to take out the big bones and some of the fat, the stuff that uh, you're not gonna eat. The bones have done their job by creating this uh, wonderful broth. So I'm just gonna put a put it in the strainer right here, and, and don't worry too much. Some of the uh, chicken might fall into the strainer, no big deal. Uh, when that occurs, you can grab the chicken and put it back into the broth because you don't want to waste too much of it, but you get the gist of it. So this is more of a homemade style uh, chicken soup. I did do a, a older video on tofu uh, chicken soup a while ago. I'll post that video and that's where I use a chicken broth. And for this, because we have the bones, that's that's creating the wonderful homemade uh, broth from scratch. Now, you got to uh, do it to taste. So sometimes, like for instance, I'm looking at the liquid right now. It looks like it might be a little bit short. If that's the case, you can always add chicken broth to it. It's completely up to you. That's the uh, wonderful thing about cooking at home. You can uh, do it to your own taste. But this is a great... Um, recipe I like to do. I'm actually uh, gonna take out pretty much all of it right now and then uh, sort through it. It's just easier to sort through when it's a little bit cooler and then I can put the um, remaining chicken and stuff back in the uh, broth. And just look really uh, careful because you don't want any um, remaining small bones, especially when you eat. You don't want to chip a tooth or even choke, so be very, very careful. So right now I'm just kind of really making sure there's no um, remnants of uh, pieces. So I'm gonna let that cool just for a few minutes and while that's occurring, I'm gonna be uh, boiling the veggies now. So I'm gonna turn this thing up to about a five now and I'm gonna add the vegetables. I had some leftover spinach as well, so I added that in as well. But you can add whatever vegetables you'd like and you just wanna soften them up for a little bit. It's not gonna take very long. So while the vegetables are uh, simmering, I'm just gonna um, discard some of the big uh, bones. So I discarded most of the big bones that we're not gonna obviously eat. And the remaining chicken, I'm gonna put it back into the broth. Feel free to add any type of noodles. I got some whole wheat um, pasta noodles right here. So throw those in. If you're low carbing, you can uh, opt to not put the pasta in, or you could even use uh, tofu noodles. So it should almost uh, be ready right now. Um, I did speed up the process by cooking the uh, pasta beforehand, 
Uh, and I do recommend that because once it's ready, you just throw it in and then mix it and add some salt and pepper and you're good to go. Alrighty, so there you have it right there. You got the homemade chicken noodle soup right there. Look at all the different vegetables, the noodles, and the broth, the carrots. You got some protein right there. And uh, let me take a little bite on camera. Don't want to burn. Let's get a little bit of chicken, the noodle, and let's get a carrot and some broth. All right, tastes really good. Two thumbs up for me. Uh, give this a try. Let me know um, what you think in the comment section. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Follow the latest in diet, health, and fitness. I put at least two to three new videos per week. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.